Hello, back again. Just a quick video showing you how to uh, pre-configure your Wi-Fi for a Pi Core player. So when you first boot your Raspberry Pi, the Wi-Fi is already set up. So that way uh, you don't have to go and find an Ethernet cable and uh, connect the uh, Pi Core player to your router. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, burn an image like normal, which doesn't take too long to do. Right, so once that uh, that's done, just unplug the SD card and then plug it back into your PC. Right, the thing we're going to do now is cre uh, create a little uh, uh, config file. So I'm going to open up Notepad. The thing I'm going to do is go to the Pi Core website, which gives you a description of how this works. Right, you've got two options. You've got maintained by Pi Core player and you've got ma uh, maintained by user. If you use the first option, you will still get the option of changing it via the website uh, GUI. So if you go into your Wi-Fi settings, you will normally still have the options there to change the name and the password. If you use maintained by by user you will get this which I've set up so if you need to change your Wi-Fi you have to re-edit the config file we're gonna make so I'll just uh, close that right so all we need to do is copy all this just right click and copy and we're gonna paste it into this uh, notepad file uh, right click to paste. I'm just going to zoom it up. Uh, control plus. So you can see it a bit easier. Right up the top here you've got country code. I've got mine set to the US. But you may need to change that to whatever country you're in. And uh, what your Wi-Fi settings are within your router. And then you've got network. And you've got that SSID. Which is the name of your Wi-Fi. So change that to the name of the Wi-Fi you're using. So I'm just going to change that. So I'll call it my Wi-Fi. And then you want to change the uh, PSK, which is the password. Just highlight that and put it toward my uh, Wi-Fi password. And that's all done. The thing we need to do is save it as a WPA config file. So save me... Uh, typing it I'm just going to copy that that's just the name of the text file we're going to use so you can either go file and save as or you can just go to close and save let me just close that down right thing you need to do save as type change that to all files because if you don't it will add dot text to the end so I'm just going to change that to all files Right click to paste. So I've got my wpa.config file and just click save. Right, so that's done. Now all I'm going to do is copy that uh, text file over to the SD card. Right, thing is, I'm going to go into where did I save that file? I think it went into downloads. It normally goes in my documents, but I saved it to uh, downloads. Gonna right click on it and copy it 
because you can always save it if you want, need to use it later. Then I go into my PC and this is my uh, SD card that I just burnt with the Pi Core player image. So I'll just double click on it and there's all your files and I'm going to right click and paste it in. There it goes. You will see a sample one in there. You can just leave it there or delete it, it doesn't matter. Or you can just edit it, that one if you want to. But I just make a nice new one. So it's entirely up to you if you want to keep it or delete it. So I'll just close that down. So the thing you can do now is uh, unplug your SD card. Plug it into your Raspberry Pi. And when you boot Pi Core Player for the first time, it will uh, automatically connect to your Wi-Fi and be ready to set up. So as always, uh, I hope this video has helped, and uh, goodbye.